Hi, in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the smudge tool and uh, as you can see here a lot of the options are the same, nothing is new. If you don't know them go watch previous videos on other paint tools here. Now the rate here behaves a little bit different than the rate in another tool. So let's select our smudge tool, click here and drag like that. And you see how this tool takes a color from uh, the source that we click. It smudges it into the next color, then takes that color and it smudges it into the next color. So right now here the yellow smudged into the white, then it took the white and smudged it into the green and so on. And this rate here controls how far this, for example, yellow color will go. So if I go here, let's say to 73%, you see how far this yellow go and how far the smudge goes. If you go to 100% and you take a cower, you'll see that the tool will never release that cower. So you can do this all day if you want to. It will not take another cower. So it basically takes a cower where it passes and smudges it into the next cower. And then where it passes, it takes again the cover and smudges it into the next cover. <clears throat> now about the use of this tool, a lot of people are using this tool to correct images, to edit their digital photographs. And I find this to be incredibly wrong, especially in digital photographs, to try to remove something unwanted using this tool. It's a big mistake. Usually what they do is if you have something small, they grab areas from around that and try to smudge them in and remove that. Let's say if it's a small person, they smudge them in with surrounding areas and it might look good from far, but if you go to 100%, I'm pretty sure your image will look ruined. So don't do that. Now, unless you're trying to do some effect, some digital art, that's something different. You can use this tool, but don't use it to correct your images and this is like trying to uh, staple two pieces of paper with a hammer instead of using the proper tool which are here the clone tool and the healing tool so don't do that mistake what this tool is for this tool is for painting and uh, it will be very useful for people who are artists and want to uh, go and create digital paintings and there are different styles of art, of course. In some, this might not be useful, but in a lot of them, this tool can be very helpful. Now, I can show you how you can paint with this tool because I'm not an artist. I just smushed a little bit of colors here, to show you what this tool can do. And even if you're not an artist and don't know how to paint, you can always use this to create some nice graphics or to apply some nice effects especially if you get more brushes create your own brushes i'll talk about this very soon or download some free brushes from the internet and use these brushes to smudge colors around so this is it for this video bye for now